the only um, road access to South Indian Lake in and out. You can see there's two sections where the water is o coming over the road. The road is eroding right out. There's a disaster, there's a lot of damage done to it. We spend a lot of money to make these docks. There's our fish plant, our major receiving station prior heading, sending our fish down south. And this is where we uh, offload that comes, uh, all the product comes from the, the bigger parts of the lake. Based on 30 or over 30 years of experience with high water, that ramp was actually supposed to face down. Nobody ever planned for it to be the ramp to go up, but basically the world's upside down. See underwater down there, that's supposed to be ex exposed at least a foot. That's a, the anchor for these floaters. And it broke off the anchorage system. So this damage has just occurred in the last three days. And it's gonna cause a lot more damage because uh, only half the dock has melted off the ice. The worst, the worst is coming. And once we get open water, wind and wave action, it's going to be a disaster. Erosion like we haven't seen. We 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 knew it was bad for the last 40 years. It's it's going to get worse. And we're supposed to be okay with this. Like, how can you use this if you had a boat? It's impossible. And there's areas like this, you know, for. Three or four thousand kilometers of shoreline. But how are we supposed to live with this? Yeah, this is uh, what I'm calling lateral erosion. But the land is eroding uphill uh, from this, just the water table, I think, being saturated. And it's clay, it melts the permafrost, and it just oozes out and erodes down. We, we've been hearing, like, we've heard everybody be concerned about uh, the high water this year. So I, I asked Hydro. And he, uh, we had a, a short conversation. Basically, he's saying they're with doing what they're is allowed within their license. His explanation is they were caught with a sudden melt and runoff uh, last week. And I, I, I told him like, what you couldn't forecast that the snow and ice would melt. They seem to be water drunk. They they know they can't use this water in the foreseeable future, yet they, they want it. And now th they have too much. We knew it was coming, but they don't they don't talk to us, they don't listen to us, there's no dialogue. You know, they're, they're water drunk, they're, they're just greedy.